should be proud Cause you look so good, baby I might just forget to pull out And what I pull up what is going on everyone it's your boy 3mg we are back with another video you are watching some modern warfare gameplay in the background and we're going to actually talk about this gameplay specifically in a moment but let's talk about the 2v2 alpha that begins august 23rd of course it leaked we all know the shit leaked a couple of days ago but now we have an official confirmed date which is the 23rd i'm not a fan of the time of its availability which is 10 a.m specific time which is roughly around one i think one or two o'clock or something like that my time sucks i'm in the east coast but yeah, it's like 1 or 2 p.m. or something like that. However, once it's available, guys, I'm going to be streaming like crazy. Like, I'm going to be streaming like crazy. So I'm going to be streaming for maybe like four or five hours, some of that gunfight, just for you all. But the open alpha will feature five maps, three that were previously revealed, as I'm reading here on Charlie Intel, two brand new ones, which will also feature variations of the gunfight mode during the whole weekend so it's like 23rd to the 26th of august so make sure you all get your hands on however when the beta officially releases it's gonna have the regular multiplayer modes of like team deathmatch or whatnot this is like a nice little tease for everybody to get their hands on with the 2v2 which i think is dope because from watching the 2v2 so much you kind of not get like uninterested but you don't actually get that hype feel no more for this particular mode so it's good that kind of early that we're getting hands on with this mode specific now it says activision i now confirmed the open alpha which will begin again once i said like i said 10 a.m specific time and 1 p.m eastern time 6 p.m uk time and it will start and end on sunday august 25th an official said the time or the end of time has not been shared yet but it says expect multiplayer operators to be available at least one game mode to play with you pick a variant modes that which will be scheduled for the weekend and a number of other surprises of content that will be added throughout the weekend i cannot wait because we don't know if certain weapons might be unlocked or some customization something i know gunfight has their own specific layout but i cannot wait to get my hands on with that now let's talk about the gameplay in the background first off i want to just say that the graphics is looking really good the quality of the videos are looking even better now i know the last couple of weeks including the, re the reveal of the multiplayer it's been like in, in weird resolutions and shit like that where the quality hasn't been like its best. I've been trying to color correct the videos I've been putting out, trying to add some like sharpness to it or whatnot, but this is looking really good. This is actually the King gunfight map that's in Modern Warfare in the 2v2, however, the night version of the map. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe they're gonna try to bring night versions of every gunfight map to try to bring some variety. What I just don't hope, you know, happens is that they get lazy and we don't see like new maps, fresh maps, and they just try to night version the whole shit. I would love though, not gonna lie, if they, you know, if they're gonna be clean with all the content and all the maps that they're gonna bring into the game, if they can add uh for the 2v2 specific, if they can add for the open outside maps, some rain, some night rain maps too, because it's looking pretty eerie here. It's looking pretty susp suspenseful, very like stealth-like, and you're not gonna be rushing. I mean, 2v2 already, I don't see a lot of people just running gun all the time. I understand I might be doing it, but for the night version of the map, it's gonna allow you to adjust your play style. So I think that's pretty cool. Now, if they add like a rain and night map too for the 2v2, that's gonna be dope. As far as regular multiplayer, I don't want to see shit like this. I don't want to see them get lazy and instead of bringing us fresh new maps, they bring us the same version of like, for example, Hacienda and then want to give us like Hacienda with rain or Hacienda almost at night like in Black Ops 4. I don't like that shit. If you're going to go that route that you want to bring us different weather or climate changes into these maps, make it one map and add a dynamic, add the time of day that we're playing or however we're gonna do it and make it to where the map changes weather depending on the time of day of the game. I don't know however you wanna do it. Just don't get lazy with the regular multiplayer. 2v2, I'm all fine with it because it's a nice way to customize and just add some variety to it. Now again, I'm just super stoked to even be playing this shit on Friday. I cannot wait for the full release of this game. I kept very quiet for so long and I think it's just done its justice. You know what I'm saying? Like the gameplay, everything they're bringing to the game, I cannot wait. But going back to this, this is going to add a whole new level of skill for those who want to play serious. You know, if we want to jump on some 2v2, if it's going to be me and somebody, we're doing like a late night stream and we're just trying to game or unlock some challenges, however it's going to work. If we're going to do some custom modes or if we're going to do some like regular multiplayer standard of 2v2, this is going to add a dope way for those who want to just play serious, not some search and destroy, some flag capture shit, but to just learn around how to use weapons. This is what I'm going to use it for. I'm going to play tactic. I'm going to play very stealth-like. And with adding night versions of the map, I think it's not less 
less it's not more or less them just saying hey we want to just see if you guys are going to run it or run a gun a certain way i think it's more or less let's test your ability to change or adjust like are you guys going to adjust your play style knowing that we're going to bring it tonight i understand other call of duties had night maps but in this case they're taking it to a whole different level we got audio cues audio has never been this good in call of duty we have footsteps i'm hearing from a lot of people who've actually played the game and touched the game and even watching videos they're saying it's so broadly intense that you want to kind of be careful and class customization is the most important thing ever now of course as it's always been however the depth of customization has never been that fucking intriguing or interesting you just want to set up your gun this time you want to set up your gun and your actual character to make sure that the play style or whatever maps you're going to get involved with is actually going to work out for your best ability and we have to also take it to account they're not just bringing these maps. They're not just trying to bring this sense of realism and just trying to make sure that the audio and the gun sounds, everything is on par, everything is good. No more three lane maps, but allowing you to also customize your class on the fly is also an amazing way for players to adjust. And instead of backing out of matches because you don't have the proper class setups for these maps, you can now adjust them on the fly. That is something we always needed. So if you feel like, shit, I just entered this map, I don't even have anything that's gonna work for this map. Let me fix up my class setup. And once I die or respawn, I can now have a whole new setup that will work for this map and my play style. Like, and also depending on who you go up against, you can also adjust on the fly. So that's amazing for me. As far as the 2v2 goes, this is gonna be something that's gonna test everyone's ability to adjust. Always remember that. Adding day and night maps, and I'm hoping some rain and shit, if they wanna go really serious, add some snow to like some of the outside maps, this is gonna test everyone's ability to adjust. This is not just like any lazy tactic to just add a night version of the map. It's really saying, hey, everything we brought into this game now it makes sense we're gonna bring in different versions of these maps maybe a all destructible looking map where it looks like all fucked up and you're gonna have to listen to a lot of sound cues because it's just too many corridors going on there's no more three lane maps we're gonna add a night mode where you're gonna have to pay very close attention to like the lights that hit off certain objects to see if you see shadows i got a separate video you guys need to check it out and it's gonna drop this today as well and i will be posting it in the community section tab of my channel make sure you guys have the notifications on so that you can be alert when i do drop that on the um, community tab as well as upload the next video but it's your boy 3mg let me know your honest opinion of this gameplay in the background what is your hopes and i got another video which i'm very fucking upset as well like i'm not gonna lie i'm very upset at what they're doing and you gotta hear that shit too it's like back and forth but as far as you know the whole game goes i'm still stoked it's your boy 3MG. God bless everybody. Have a fucking amazing day. Peace. Stitch them up proper. That's how it's done. Let's get this done.
Keep pushing. Trying to get a cut, put your fucking hands back. 